if is is part of the category of blending modes it's it's a form of blending not really a blend mode but it's a form of blending and is a way which you can um blend objects in photoshop now um it's the name implies what it does when you say blend if uh you're saying blend if so 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 and so thing happens so you're, you're telling you're telling it to blend if um if the reds in this picture are much blend it so you're telling it to blend if that's the concept of blend if so blend if so um it's a very very interesting uh, feature in photoshop and uh, if you can learn it then you can actually blend anything you want to blend both uh, in your designs and, and anything is the way of blending stuff so and if you use it to get out of blend mode then you are going to create something good all right so um this text now blend if i want to blend it to this layer down so to get your blend if you right click and um, you choose a uh, blending options up or you can just double click your system or your you can just double click your your layers panel here and you can get to here so let me set this to the default and we have this okay so when you get to your blending options here uh what you want to look for is here blending this is it so it's set to originally gray so um gray so you say blend if gray if the gray in this current layer is dark you blend it if it's if the gray in the current layer is bright blend it. if the gray in the underlying layer is dark if the gray in the underlying layer is bright all right so in this um layer we have more grease so i'll leave it in gray so currently a blend if the current layer there's no dark so if you just carry it like this you see that nothing is happening but if you carry this white even the smallest inch you see that everything has disappeared so you want to blend the underlying layer for something like this especially for a one a one colored uh, layer you want to start because there are many dark areas here if you use the bright part you see that it's working but not so perfect so let's blend this dark part too then what we want to do is to hit alt hold alt on our keyboard and then select on this handle here so if i hold alt and select on the handle the handle is going to split into two so i can carry this handle here and then i can separate it. let's see that again and i can separate it like this so you are seeing how it is blending inside the image so you can also shift this slider here you can also shift this slider and blend it also but like i said it's not really blend because there are no much whites like that so we want to blend these dark areas going to carry this one to the front a bit so you can see how it's blending into the wall like the wall is very dirty that's the kind of effect that i want to get yeah so let me carry this forward a bit yeah so most times blend if looks very more real very much more realistic than your blending options so it looks so much more realistic so um by holding out yeah 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 just feathering the selection and making it to be more um smooth now to get out your blend modes you can use overlay blend mode you can use uh any of this especially the contrast blend mode if you can remember from the previous video you can use this blend mode and then you can actually write something especially from this side Overlay, soft lights, hard lights. Let me use this hard light so that we can see what's going on. So we have something like this now. 
So supposing you wanted to, so anywhere you take it, you see that it's interacting with the background. Anywhere you take it. So imagine you had some a subject now. You want to wish the person happy birthday with this um, background, and you want it to look very real, like it was written on the wall. This is a way to like achieve it. This is a way to achieve it easily. So by using blend modes and um, and your normal and your blend if you can be able to achieve something like this so you can see how how it's blended to the wall just just seamlessly it's just easily blended to the wall so and okay sorry i converted it to a smart object when you when you use your blend mode don't convert to a smart object if not everything that you did will go so what you want to do is to convert to a smart object before you did the blend mode so before you did the blend mode or before you apply the blend mode, convert it to a smart object. If it's a text layer or a raster image and you want to uh, do it afterwards, it's not going to it's not going to work. So do it after. So you can even add a color to it. And you can see that it's still blended. N- do not all colors will actually work very well on background depending on the color that you choose that is going to work very well but as for white you can see how white blended inside here very well inside this um, um, shape or image so i want to um use another example let me see um let me see a wooden texture Try to see if you can blend an image on a wooden texture. So, um, the struggle here now is to find the um, wood. Okay, I think this one is going to work out very well. So, I'm going to select this guy here. So, so when he opens. This is um, on pixels, yeah. So this is on pixels. So uh, yeah, this is it. So I'm just going to tap on download here. Okay. So um, I think that one should be okay. Do I? Ah, this one has a lot more detail, yeah. Yeah, this one has a lot more detail. So it's basically the same thing that we did in in the first um, in the first image. It's basically the same thing we did in the first image. We just want to um, scale this up like this. And no matter where you put it to, this one I want to convert it to a smart object first. So I, I'm using my shortcut to convert it to control and full stop. So um, right click and go to blending options up there. So when it opens, uh, okay, that's opened. Then we know where we're going to. We're going to blend if. So normally I've not I've not actually changed this check the reds or the in the current layer which is the 
text layer you see that it's just white so no dark no red inside you get so um the underlying layer is you can find a bit of red inside but okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah that's it you can find a bit of red inside that picture so if you smoothen this out yeah why it does not work very well let's see gray let me just go back to gray let me go back to gray and see yeah this one works very well this one is better most times i don't like to i just like to keep it smoothing just small yeah something like this is okay then um blend mode Overlay still works, yeah. It's majorly overlay that works for stuff like this. Majorly. Or oh, let's just leave it without blend mode. I think it can work without blend mode, so I'll just leave it like this. I'll just leave it like this. Now, to make this effect look better, actually, um, we are going to use displacement maps. I'm going to talk about displacement maps later on, sure. So, I want to duplicate this layer, this. Um, background layer i hit ctrl j then ctrl shift u you can check that in your um, short code then ctrl l then i want to make this image darker and brighter at the same time to increase the contrast so now i want to save this as a psd uh as a displacement map psd so i'm calling it displace displacement yeah displacement let me end here. Ah. Displacement map um, PFD. PFD. Um, I'm going to document. Let me save it where my other displacement maps are. I'm going to save it here. Now I want to delete this and go back to this wooden texture. And I'm going to go to filter, distort, displace. I'm keeping this at 10, 10, and then sorry, I cancelled it. Filter, um, distort, displace. Yeah, I'm keeping it at this, and then I'm go over. I'll go over to displacement map PFD. Okay, you can see that it added the displacement on the wood. I may not see it very well here, but um it's added all these contour lines and all these effects are now on the wood so anywhere you see a brick the, the text there will um go off let, let me see let me reduce it first let me reduce so you can see all those contour lines on the on the on the texture of the text all the wooden uh, so that's it so but don't shift it out of that position though. okay you can actually shift that one position and can still keep it uh the texture will still be there but most times if you change the position and you hit on this place just double click here and you choose it again it's going to um reload this problem map in that same um position ahead okay. now this is it so uh, you can still go ahead and use your blend mode depending on how depending on how um, on how the material of the image that you want to blend is so if i come here and and i i want to change the text i can just double click on the smart object and i i can do whatever i want i can manipulate this whole text here so i can reduce the font i can do what i want to do so um let me reduce the font and see. So I can just see wooden texture. So let me reduce the um, leading. Okay. So I I can do that and then I'll save it like this. And then when I come back to the project i hit i hit um control 
control s and control w at the same time so if i let me increase this like this let me increase this so the displacement map as you can see has followed the contour of the sh of the um of the image that is at the back so uh just know that in blend if you are talking about the current layer which is the wooden layer which is the sorry the text layer they are working on the current layer and the underlying layer so um um let me try to use another image and see so let's not just use an image that has only uh white inside if you can use another image that has a um, that has a combination of both whites and the uh, darks inside so let me use my so my png elements um let me use the photoshop logo so the photoshop logo is going to be perfect for this so that you can see how it plays here all right so let me put this off so blend mode or blend if sorry double click on your layer or right click to bring in the um, blending or layer style blending options or layer style so this one you know that um, the underlying layer has this darks which is the normal wooden layer so let's see so you can see then the current layer has its dark areas too so if you slide down and everything will just go out if you use bright the one in the middle is going to go out so here too so you see that i choose the bright part or the dark part to actually affect this image i don't even know which one will go better i think the bright i think the bright so let me separate this by using both the bright be better Let me use a blend mode also. So actually this is supposed to be very very like diffuse diffuse to give it a dirty kind of look. But the other one works better, yeah. So you just to keep looking and seeing which one works better for both uh, for both of them so so this one works this one works better this one works better for it some blends better yeah yeah but in in subsequent times i will talk about it better i just prefer this wooden texture and yeah this one brings the whole texture of the split member and blend it out so that will be it for this video